What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's good to see you all again. I can tell you what's going on over here. It looks like meme stock mania is in full effect today. I just wanted to touch on it briefly because we always like to get a little bit more eyes and attention into what's going on with some of our favorites that we've been just holding on to for so long, waiting, trying to fix some of the corruption that's going on with Wall Street and try to bring a little bit of light to that for the most part, it seems like. And um, what I thought was really interesting was really GameStop kicking it off. We've been expecting something along these lines, but they're doing that. Um, stock dividend, the four for one. So I want to watch and see how this all unfolds. Is the owner going to do a recall on their shares that they've lent out? Is that going to be necessary? I mean, it's really never been necessary for anything that I've seen previously. You know, the shorts can just go ahead and pay that dividend to the rightful owner. Um, but if they do that, that's going to take a massive hit out of their profits that they're in as far as anything they're doing for shorting it because they're going to be essentially paying for several shares of stock which is just going to eat that up so would they be interested in just returning those shares on their own willingly to not even have to deal with that so i think this is going to be an interesting um <laughs> sort of events as it all unfolds and i'm sure we'll get a little bit more light as time goes on with that and then i thought it was interesting too that AMC obviously CEO Adam Aaron comes out on Twitter he says I keep getting asked when pounce know this I always keep my word I've said publicly a pounce would not happen before second quarter 2022 earnings are announced press release issued today that quarter two earnings to be announced on Thursday August 4th read between those lines so is Adam Aaron planning some sort of pounce or has there been something going on behind the scenes that he's been able to find out um, about, say, naked shorting in his company? Um, is he going to pounce on the shorts? We don't know, but I thought it was really interesting that it came out just a little bit after you know GME makes their announcement and what's going to unfold there. Are they just... I mean, I know that they're on social media and they're playing the game, they're entertaining their shareholders, but I think at some point it has to probably become a little bit of a nuisance from day to day of just trying to run a business overall. Yeah, they want to interact with their shareholders, they want to keep us informed, they want to keep us up to date with what they can tell us, but they can't always tell us everything and maybe you know almost borderline harassing trying to get answers that they just can't give out so uh, maybe they decided it's time that we take our stance and do something about this that would be um ideal right that's the ideal situation is something gets taken care of through all of this bed bath and beyond comes out and says that we have some insider buying going on really pumping that so it is on the run similar time frame and then BlackBerry, their technology gets picked up by Volkswagen. Get that news released. Everything's coming out right about the same time. Are all of the meme stocks just like, we're tired of this. We want to be recognized as a legit company. We're ready to move forward and just be able to focus on doing business and not have all of our shareholders always coming at us, talking to us, trying to figure out what's going on and... Uh, asking us for information that we can't reveal but looking at that watch list amc up almost 15 percent gamestop up 12 and a half percent bed bath and beyond up 31 percent blackberry up four and a half percent express up six and a half percent sundial sitting right around three percent costs four percent and I put Sin on here because Sin was actually naked before it became Sin, before the EV company bought them out. And I know that there was a large community that was backing the whole naked movement. And I would not be surprised if they're still in there, still doing their thing, you know, and supporting the EV sector. So I still have them on my watch list as far as everything else that goes in to this category. But what an awesome day. Everybody should be absolutely excited. I know most of you that are watching YouTube videos are probably involved in at least one, if not multiple, of these plays. 
and you've probably been just hanging on for a long time. So it's so nice to see them moving back in a positive direction all together, which is exciting. And I figured I'd just throw a video out there because it's always good whenever things like this happen, it gets a lot more of attention. You know, the talk starts coming back in. New eyes can be shined onto some of these things. What's what's trying to actually be unveiled through all of this? Is it all of the the manipulation, the, you know, the naked shorting? What's going on in the actual stock market? Is it a level playing field for retail to even be involved? And if, you know, some new eyes can be shed on this type of thing, if their interest is there, if their money wants to roll in, new money rolling into these plays never hurts at all. So always good to see. Just wanted to pop in and say hi and uh, kind of enjoy this moment with you guys. Thank you for coming and watching a video. If you don't mind, drop a like. You can always subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any of the updates. As always, stay golden, people, and may your accounts stay green.